Sheshya was born in Sasaram in Bihar. His real name was Farid. He was given the title of Sher Khan after he single-handedly killed a tiger. He joined the Mughal army when Babur conquered India and mastered the techniques of the Mughal warfare. Sher Shah wanted to drive out the Mughals from India and bring back the Afghan rule. Taking advantage of the political instability following Babur's death, Sher Shah established his supremacy in Bihar and Bengal. Sher Shah conquered Malwa, Rajputana, Multan, Sindh and Punjab. Sher Shah was not only a great conqueror but also a brilliant administrator. He introduced various reforms which were taken up and reformed by Akbar later. Two major aspects of Sher Shah's administration were the central administration and the provincial administration that is still followed today. In the central administration, the king was the head of the administrative system. The government was divided into various departments, each under the charge of a minister who was assisted by officials. In case of provincial administration, Sher Shah divided his empire into 47 provinces or sarkars which were headed by the Afghan chiefs. Each province was subdivided into districts or parganas which were administered by Shikdari Shikdaran and Munsifi Munsifan. Sher Shah also transferred his officials periodically to prevent them from becoming corrupt or wielding undue power. Some villages were grouped to form a district. Sher Shah worked towards improving the existing revenue system. Land was surveyed and measured every year. The average produce was calculated on the base of the fertility of the land. Revenue was fixed at one third of the produce, which could not be paid. Taxes were reduced during the natural calamities or war. Loans were granted. Sher Shah organized an efficient and strong large standing army. He personally appointed the soldiers and fixed their salaries according to their skills and abilities. The system of dag, branding of horses and chehra, descriptive role of the soldiers started by Alauddin Khilji were revived. The army was divided into units which were placed under commanders. His army had a trained infantry and a cavalry along with a well-equipped artillery. Sher Shah built an excellent network of roads to facilitate trade and commerce and make travelling easier and much more comfortable. The longest and the most important road, the Grand Trunk Road, was built connecting Sonargaon in Bengal in the east to Peshawar in the northwest. Trees were planted on both the sides of the roads. Rest houses or sarais and wells were built at regular distances for the travellers. The sarais were used to be dark chalkies to deliver post from one part of the country to other. Shesha encouraged the growth of trade and commerce. He abolished many of the duties except the duty on goods brought into the country and the duty on goods that were sold. He introduced new weights and measures. Coins of silver, gold, copper were introduced. He started the use of the silver coin or rupiah as a standard coin which continued to be used even today. Shesha was a secular ruler. He followed a policy of religious tolerance and respected all the religions. He appointed Hindus to the high posts. He also patronized art and learning. He is credited with the building many architectural splendors such as the Rohatgas fort and the Purana Kila. He also designed his own masulim in Sasaram. Sheikh Shah died accidentally in an incident of gunpowder explosion in 1545. He may have had a brief rule of five years but he established a vast North Indian empire. His empire stretched from Bengal in the east to Indus in the west. The greatness of Sher Shah lies in the fact 
that he rose from a mere soldier to the position of the Sultan of Delhi. During his brief reign, he re- laid the foundation of an effective administrative system which was modified and improved later by Akbar.